Hello curious minds, today we're diving into the strange and fascinating realm of dwarf planets. Alright, before we launch into the specifics, let's establish some ground rules. What exactly makes a dwarf planet different from your everyday planet? In 2006, the International Astronomical Union established three criteria for a celestial body to be considered a full-fledged planet. First, it has to be in orbit around the Sun, no orbiting rogue stars or black holes allowed. Second, it needs enough gravity to pull itself into a roughly spherical shape. And third, it has to have cleared its neighborhood meaning it's the gravitational big shot in its orbital path. Now, this is where our dwarf planets miss the mark. They meet the first two criteria, they orbit the sun and are round enough but they haven't quite managed to clear their orbital paths of other celestial debris. Think of it like this. Imagine a cosmic vacuum cleaner. Planets are like the heavy-duty models that suck up everything in their path. Dwarf planets? Well, they're more like the handheld versions, still powerful but working with a smaller cleaning radius. But these celestial objects are anything but boring. They come in a variety of shapes, sizes and compositions, each with its own unique story to tell. Our first stop takes us to the asteroid belt, a vast donut-shaped region between Mars and Jupiter, where we find the Queen Bee of Dwarf Planets, Ceres. Discovered in 1801, Ceres was initially classified as a planet, then demoted to an asteroid, and finally, in 2006, it got its rightful title, a dwarf planet. Ceres is a true original. It's the largest object in the asteroid belt, so large in fact, that it accounts for about a third of the belt's total mass. And get this, Ceres might be hiding a secret beneath its dusty cratered surface. Scientists believe that vast oceans of salt water, more water than all the fresh water on Earth combined, could be lurking beneath its crust. In 2015, NASA's Dawn spacecraft arrived at Ceres becoming the first mission to orbit a dwarf planet. Dawn spent over three years studying Ceres, sending back incredible images and data that have revolutionized our understanding of this fascinating world. It revealed bright, salty deposits on the surface, hinting at past water activity. Who knows what other secrets Ceres holds beneath its surface? Further exploration might just reveal a world more intriguing than we ever imagined. Next, we journey to the Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune teeming with icy bodies, where we encounter a celestial celebrity that needs no introduction, Pluto. Once considered the ninth planet, Pluto's demotion to dwarf planet status in 2006 sparked a debate that continues to this day. But let's be clear. Pluto's scientific significance never depended on its planetary status. It's a fascinating world in its own right, full of surprises. Pluto is a cosmic overachiever. It boasts five known moons, including the captivating Charon, which is so large that it and Pluto are often considered a binary system. Two celestial objects locked in a gravitational dance around a common center of mass. In 2015, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft made history by becoming the first spacecraft to fly by Pluto, capturing stunning images of its surface. The images revealed a world more diverse than anyone expected, with towering mountains of water ice, vast plains of nitrogen ice, and a heart-shaped glacier that captured the world's imagination. And as we continue to analyze the data from New Horizons, one thing is certain, Pluto's story is far from over. Hold on tight as we venture further into the Kuiper Belt to meet Haumea, the speed demon of the Dwarf Planet Club. This bizarre world has a shape that's unlike anything you've ever seen. It's more elongated than a rugby ball and spins faster than any other known large object in our solar system, completing a rotation in under four hours. But Hami's peculiarities don't end there. This enigmatic world also boasts a ring system, a feature once thought to be exclusive to giant planets. The discovery of rings around Haumea came as a surprise to scientists and challenged our understanding of how these celestial structures form. Scientists believe that Haumea's elongated shape and rapid rotation are the result of a massive collision in its distant past. This cosmic crash could have also created Haumea's two moons, Haisiaka and Namaka, and scattered debris that eventually formed its intriguing ring system. Our next destination takes us even deeper into the icy depths of the Kuiper Belt, where we encounter Makemake, a dwarf planet named after the creator deity of the Rapa Nui people of Easter Island. This frigid world, discovered in 2005, is a true testament to the ingenuity and persistence of astronomers. Makemake is a world of extremes. Its surface is incredibly cold, with temperatures plummeting to minus 240 degrees Celsius. That's colder than a winter day on Hoth. This extreme chill means that any atmosphere Makemake might have had has long since frozen solid, leaving its surface exposed to the harsh radiation of space. Despite its frigid nature, Makemake is not without its own unique charm. Its surface is covered in a reddish-brown material, thought to be tholins, complex organic molecules formed by the interaction of sunlight with methane and other simple molecules. 
These tholins are of great interest to scientists as they might hold clues to the building blocks of life. While Makemake remains shrouded in mystery, the discovery of both Makemake and its moon, MK2, has added another piece to the puzzle of our solar system's formation and evolution. Prepare for a journey to the very edge of our solar system, where we encounter Eris, the dwarf planet that shook up our understanding of the solar system and ignited a cosmic debate. Discovered in 2005, Eris is a true heavyweight, slightly larger than Pluto, and located three times farther from the Sun. Eris's discovery was a pivotal moment in astronomy. Its size, comparable to Pluto's, challenged the then-accepted definition of a planet, and ultimately led to the creation of the dwarf planet category. You could say that Eris was the cosmic rule-breaker that forced us to rethink our understanding of the solar system. Eris is a world of extremes. It's so far from the Sun that it takes over 550 years to complete one orbit. And because of its extreme distance, Eris and its only moon, Dysnomia, appear incredibly faint, making them challenging targets even for the most powerful telescopes. Despite the challenges, Eris holds valuable clues to the formation and evolution of our solar system. Its unique orbit and composition provide insights into the dynamics of the early solar system and the processes that shape the worlds we see today. The search for dwarf planets doesn't stop with the ones we've discussed. The vast expanse of our solar system is filled with potential candidates, each with the potential to rewrite our understanding of planetary formation and evolution. Astronomers are constantly on the lookout for these hidden worlds, using increasingly powerful telescopes to peer into the darkest corners of our cosmic neighborhood. One such candidate is Sedna, a distant object with a highly elliptical orbit that takes it farther from the Sun than any other known large object in our solar system. Its unusual orbit suggests that Sedna might have been influenced by a passing star, or even a hidden planet lurking in the outer reaches of our solar system. Another intriguing candidate is Gong Gong, a reddish world with methane ice and a moon named Jiangliu. This potential dwarf planet is one of the largest known trans-Neptunian objects and is thought to be a mixture of rock and ice, similar in composition to Pluto. These are just a few of the many objects that could join the ranks of dwarf planets in the future. Take Quaur, a Kuiper Belt object with a surprisingly distant ring system that defies the rules of ring formation. There's also Orcus, nicknamed the Anti-Pluto for its similarities to its famous neighbor, and Varda, a binary system with a moon that could qualify as a mini-solar system of its own. And let's not forget about objects like 2014 UZ 224 DD and 2002 MS4, both icy worlds waiting to reveal their secrets. As our technology advances and our understanding of the solar system deepens, we can expect to discover even more of these fascinating worlds, each with its own unique story to tell. And there you have it, the fascinating worlds of the dwarf planets. From icy series in the asteroid belt to the mysterious Eris at the edge of the solar system, these small but mighty worlds hold the secrets of our cosmic history. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Which dwarf planet or potential candidate do you find the most intriguing, and why? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this journey through the solar system, don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more cosmic adventures and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep looking up.